Hey guys, I want to talk about the macros. These are a super cool and really powerful thing that you can do in them. Now this allows you to pretty much record any keystrokes or any combination of things you're doing and then play it back. So I'm going to first show you how it works and then like kind of a real example that I did the other day that I thought was pretty neat. So first how it works is you start recording yourself um, using the Q command. So I type Q while I'm in normal mode and then I type a letter. So this is the letter that I want to save the macro to. Usually I just do W and then as you can see at the bottom here it says recording at W. Um, and so what it's doing now is anything I type it's recording and it can do it again. So I can say hi my name is Ben and then I can drop to a new line and that could be my recording. So then I could play it again and I can play it again and if I wanted to I could have it play 10 times so I do 10 and then I just have it play and I'll just go and run now in them it'll actually run instantly I believe um, this is Visual Studio Code so it has I'm using the Vim extension so it's not perfect so as you can see you can kind of see it doing it and I forgot to mention to finish recording you hit Q and then if I want to play back my macro I do at and then the keystroke that I saved it to so I saved it to W Okay, so you kind of see what's possible with this, but literally I can do anything. You saw me just type a sentence, it'll record anything. So I'm going to record another thing to the letter E. So what I want to do is I want to uppercase the first letter, and then I want to go to the end of the sentence and add my last name. Um, and then I'd like to go to the next line and start over again. Okay, so I'm going to record that and play it back. And now I can do this for the whole list, right? and just have it go and do that. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, I did it 20 times, so at the end it kind of messed things up. But you get the idea, it's really powerful. You can do any recording of yourself doing it. So I wanna show you an example that came up the other day when I was recording a video. So I wanted to have a big long list of books. And here's the title of the books right here and basically just make a JSON object of it. Um, so, here is what the data looks like that I just I pretty much just looked on Google to find a list of book names and I wanted to turn this data into this nicely formatted and JSON but as you can see there's a lot wrong one I need to go and add curly braces and title and I need to add quotation marks and I also need to get rid of this um, the author name because I don't want that so one way to do this is to write a program to come and clean this up and parse this all up. But the way I ended up doing it is actually writing a Vim macro. So I'll show you guys how it worked. So I started my macro and what you do is, I'm recording right now as you can see, the macro. So I started by searching for by. So I'm searching for the word by in the sentence and then I delete that. Once I delete that, I add uh, quotation marks and I'm going to add ending and starting and I'm going to say title put a space there jump to the end add an ending one and put a comma then after that I'm going to drop to the next line delete that extra space and then you notice we're starting here and that's perfect because that's where we started up here so I go ahead and end my macro so I can run this again Bam, so notice how it just took that and it made it format it all nicely. So it remembered what I did there and just ran it again. So this should be danger, bang sign, let's make sure it's doing it right. And it is cool. So now let's see, I have five, line five to line three. So there is 328 lines here and Divide that by two because there's an excess space. There's 164. This might be off by one or so. But what I can do is I can say 164 times I'd like to run my macro. So it formats all of these. So now I can go ahead and run my macro. And you'll notice it'll go ahead and run it for all of these. Now unfortunately I'm using the um, extension for Visual Studio Code so it's slow. Um, you'll notice it's slowly going through all of these. If you're using 
then it would probably be much faster. So you have to sit and let it churn for a minute, which is unfortunate, but that's a pretty cool thing you can do. And this is pretty much limitless. Any combination you can do um, with them recording it. So it's really nice for formatting your code um, and refactoring it in different ways. And as you can see, we're just churning through, going through all of them until we get to the bottom. We might run it a couple extra times. Nope, looks like we're one short. And I can go ahead and run it one more time, but you'll notice we chop off that. So I can go ahead and bam. And then we format that whole thing. And bam, Prettify will add some spaces for us. So this looks nice as well. So if you haven't tried out Vim macros, I highly recommend giving them a shot. They're super powerful, super cool, and you can do lots of different things with them. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.